Welcome back into Global Hoops Official on YouTube. Gil McGregor here with Kyle Irving, who has a fresh cut. I couldn't compete with that, so I have a new hat on. I guess that's all I can do. But as you know, the Olympic Games are here. Olympic basketball is here. It gets going the weekend of July 25th. And there's a lot of NBA talent, um, obviously Team USA, Australia, Luka Doncic in Slovenia, the list goes on. That being said, Kyle, when you have your eye on the Olympic Games and all of this NBA talent, who do you think, when it's all said and done, is going to be the leading scorer of everybody out there? I'm actually going to take that question. I'm going to work backwards with you. Okay. okay so that okay. way, you know, we, we make the viewers wait for the answer that they're looking okay, for. Okay. Keep it waiting. Keep it waiting. <clears throat> I think right off the bat, there's one player that intrigues me as someone that you wouldn't necessarily expect to lead the Olympics in scoring. And that's the 2019 FIBA World Cup's most outstanding player, Ricky Rubio, who, again, I mean, like you said, this is a completely different element than NBA basketball. Ricky Rubio is a pass first point guard in the NBA who is, you know, almost afraid to shoot at times, always looking to set up his teammates. And he's still looking to set up his teammates on the Olympic stage, but he is a little bit more aggressive offensively because that's what his team needs from him. He averaged 16 points per game at the FIBA World Cup in 2019 when he led Spain to the gold. And he's somebody who I feel like is, I wouldn't necessarily call him a dark horse because he's one of the best players on one of the best countries, but I feel like he's somebody that the you know casual NBA fan that doesn't pay attention to FIBA basketball might not know what Ricky Rubio is capable of on the Olympic stage. It's funny you talk about him, and that's, that's a good first person to start with because, like you said, we don't know him as being a scorer. He's a distributor, at least when he has his NBA hat on. But when he puts that Spain across his chest or España, um, you know, he becomes that guy, and, and he kind of you know taps into another uh, a level of being a scorer. And I think that kind of extends to a lot of the guys. And I guess I'll say one who has the same thing. People have a lot of jokes on Twitter that Patty Mills turns into Allen Iverson. Uh, when he throws the green and gold on for the boomers. And I'm looking to him with a team that is looking to medal for the first time ever. He might tap into that 2001 AI mode one last time, maybe one last time, who knows what he can do, uh, you know, three years from now in Paris. But 2021 in Tokyo, I'm thinking Patty Mills might be the guy who puts the team on his back. But that being said, I think there's some other names that are probably in your mind as well. Yeah, there are. But before we move on to those, I had Patty Mills written down as well. And okay. my jaw so hit the, the floor. Page. Yeah. On the same my page. jaw hit the floor when I saw that. I mean, in 2012 at the London Olympics, he led the entire Olympics in scoring with 22 points per game. And then in 2016 in Rio, he was the second leading scorer with 23 points per game. And then at the FIBA World Cup in 2019, he was third on the list, 21 points per game. So this is a guy who, like you said, I mean, he looks like 01 AI when he throws on that Australia jersey. And you know, the casual NBA fan who just sees him coming off the bench for the Spurs might not realize just how, you know, unbelievable he is on the Olympic stage. But for other names that I had in mind, I mean, obviously we have to talk about Team USA. But the thing that's so difficult with Team USA is that there are so many guys that can score that it almost seems like they're going to cannibalize each other's points yeah. per game at the, end of the, at the end of the day here. So you look at someone like Kevin Durant, who was one of the top five scorers at the Rio Olympics in 2016. I think that he would be the favorite on Team USA. If anybody was going to lead the Olympics in scoring, it would be him. But there's also someone like Damian Lillard, who has been unbelievable in the exhibition games, and a lot of the offense is running through him. But then you also have someone like Jason Tatum, who can get hot on any given night, and all of a sudden, that's another name that you can throw into the mix as somebody who, you know, let's say he's playing for any other country, that's someone that could lead the entire Olympics, Olympics in scoring. So I feel like with Team USA, it's a little bit difficult to really pinpoint one of those players. But I feel like, you know, to cast a wide net, if one of the three players, or if somebody from Team USA is going to lead the Olympics in scoring, it's going to be either Durant, Tatum, or Beal. Uh, that's pretty fair. I mean, and, and we talk about Team USA. I don't think it's going to be Keldon Johnson or Javel McGee, but i got to mention those guys are now on the team, which takes away from offense that Bradley Beal is no longer with Team USA. Best I just realized I said Beal. Beal. I meant to say Damian Lillard, so I'm glad you well, caught me on that. There you go. Well, I didn't even, yeah, there you go. Bradley Beal along with the team. Best wishes to him. But Keldon Johnson stepped up and will be doing well as well. Last round of big names before I ask you the big question, because you give me a lot of options. Anybody else that we should have an eye on potentially leading? There's a guy on, on my mind who I'm kind of regretting not saying yet. So I'm wondering if that's who's on, on, next on your list. And then uh, the big reveal, who you got? I don't think that this is a player that you have on your mind, but the player on my mind is Francis Evan Fournier. 
I feel like he's kind of a dark horse candidate as someone that might be able to lead the Olympics in scoring. I have it down right here. He averaged 20 points per game at the 2019 FIBA World Cup. That was good for a top 10 finish. That was seventh most in the tournament. I feel like he's somebody that, you know, if there's a dark horse sleeper, let's say, you know, you're trying to play some odds out there and you're looking for a good value bet. I feel like Evan Fournier can be that guy. Okay, well, you know, the guy I was thinking of is number 77 for Slovenia, Luka Doncic. Uh, you know, we see, we've seen him do it in the NBA. We saw him lead this team uh, to the Olympics for the first time ever. Slovenia in the Olympic Games for the first time ever. So who's to say he won't continue to put his team, his nation on his back and do big things. I think one thing we've learned with him is to expect the unexpected. So would it really be unexpected for him to lead the, the entire Olympic in scoring? But on top of that, I'm pretty sure he's going to come with the rebounds and assists as well. So I'm going to go out on limb and say it's either going to be Patty Mills or Luka Doncic. And if I can't ride the fence, I'm going to go Luka. What say you? I had Luka Doncic. That's the name that I had at the top of my list, of course. I mean, this guy is unbelievable. He had to throw on a cape in order to get Slovenia to the Olympics in the first place. And he was capable of doing that while keeping his assists and re num rebound numbers up. And I don't see anything changing in the Olympics. I mean, they have arguably the toughest group out of anybody in the group stage with two of the FIBA uh, World Cup qualifiers, or sorry, finalists in 2019 in Spain and Argentina in their group. So, I mean, if Slovenia is going to have any chance of getting out of the group stage, it's going to be because Luka Doncic is posting something like, you know, 30 points per game, which is unheard of in, in FIBA play. So since that wasn't as fiery because you had the same answer, I'm coming with the fiery question now. Is it going to result in a podium finish for the Slovenian national team? I don't know if it's going to result in a podium finish. He's got to do a lot, man. I mean, he's up against a tough test. You could make the case that Argentina and Spain are two of the best, even with some aging players, two of the best teams, best countries in the Olympics this year. I think that's going to be a tall task for Slovenia, but it's going to be a lot of fun watching Luka Doncic try and pull it off. There you have it. Luka Doncic, if, even if they don't finish uh, on the podium, he's probably going to lead everybody in scoring, but there's some other people who could do it as well. Patty Mills, a lot of guys on Team USA. Let us know in the, Scott, the comments who you guys think is going to lead everybody in scoring. Thanks again for tuning in to Global Hoops Official. We'll have we'll be here all summer. Olympics, free agency's coming up. The draft's coming up as well. Basketball never stops over and over again. I'll continue to say it because it's never going to stop. Thanks again for tuning in. Make sure to subscribe and keep these uh, right in your feet every time they stop. They, they, they drop and stop and drop. Thanks for tuning in. For Kyle Irving, I'm Gil McGregor. Catch you next time.